Let me introduce you to Nine Night. A lot of the popular computer talk shows on YouTube have been talking about this. I found it uh, through, um, I forget the channel, there's so many of them out there. I was interested in the new the classic start menu. Uh, Windows 8 doesn't have a start menu and finally broke down and decided to try to find it and came across this website and it's easy to upload. I was having difficulty with my Adobe products or I couldn't access them. I'm, I'm kind of new and Adobe seems to be set up for the start menu mostly and as soon as I got it I was able to find the Adobe products easily that I want to use so it's it's a nice advantage to keep the start menu. There's other products on here on Nine Night that seem pretty nice. As you can see, I'm scrolling, you're just kind of looking at them. I've used Skype before, that costs $6 a month to have a phone number. But, and then I found out about Google Talk, and that's the same thing, except it's free and you get a phone number. So, $6 or free, and I went with free. I used Yahoo Messenger back in the early 2000s. It was kind of fun to chat with people, it was such a new thing, but I stopped that maybe in 2006. Did aim a little bit. That was interesting. It's, it wasn't as it didn't have the population like Yahoo. It, just, it didn't have that variety of um, just the chats, forums, and stuff. I have iTunes already for my iPod. Hulu was great in 2008. It was free, free from commercials, and played practically anything at the time, but it's gotten very commercialized now, but it's still pretty good. We went off I used in the early 2000s, um, when I was downloading a lot of music, um, but I, I don't download music so much now, it's kind of easy to stream. Audacity is great, um, you can download, you, you can make um, voiceovers and change your voice. There's a, there's a lot of things you can do with music and, and sound. It's all free. So it's pretty nice to, that these people have put that together. <coughs> there really aren't any other, many other um, programs I use. I only, so far, I just found out about this nine night. I only downloaded the, the start menu. Um, yeah, I, there's, there's so many choices. I'm sure a lot of other experts would be more familiar. Um, I like the, the security from AVG. I've been using that for some time, but it's free. It seems to be focused on the corporate uh, structures to, to make money. It, I believe that's what Nine Night is doing. They're offering a $9.99 service per year. If you if you use all of these programs, then you probably want to pay the $10 a year service to have them automatically updated. But if you're only downloading one program, like this Start Menu, you may not need this to pay Nine Night. There, Nine Night may be focused on the larger organizations, and that's very similar to other websites like Curse.com, which is a gaming website. They have apps you can download, and if you, if you have like a hundred apps, and that's a lot of work to keep updating them, so you. You may want to pay the service and they'll automatically update it and let you update it as many as you want. The free service only allows you to update three at a time. So a lot of these 
companies are focusing on the corporates, the, the people who are really hardcore using a lot of programs and would benefit most from the auto updating systems. Pay us your will, they're willing to pay that service. If you're, if you're, you're like me, just using like one or two programs, but you just don't see the value in paying. There's, you know, there's Google Earth, which is fun to play with if you've never played with it. Ever know what a lot of um, professionals enjoy? I'm having trouble logging on to it. I'm kind of retarded that way. But um, there's a lot you can do with Evernote that, that uh, you hear about. Um, I hear about on the Entrepreneur podcast. Entrepreneur on Fire. A lot of people keep referring back to it and how they can do so many things in Evernote with recording information and figuring, uh, getting their, 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 their stuff together. I don't have personal experience with it, but I'm excited to try to get into it. It's just, yeah, it's just login issues. Steam is popular for gaming. A lot of, a lot of people um, love that service. I haven't really played.